Hi folks, my name is Marcos Rosen and today we are going to talk a little bit about partitioning table on SQL Server 2005. First of all, you can see the structure of my database using some group files and its path for each one I wish to create. Okay, after creating my database and partitioning it into some NDF files, I go to create my function. Here, I'm going to create now my function and part scheme within my database that I've just created. So, let's see how to proceed on this. Here is the statement to create a function this is the data type I'm going to work and this is my function name then I just declare the range I'm going to work with like we have range left or range right here we're going to talk about range left it means that the values are going to <coughs> be um, when you thread from left to the right and here I just set my values up to 4100 I'm going to insert into my first file group up to 1 million to my file group 2 up to 2 million to my file group 3 up and then above it it's going to file group 4 then let's create our partition scheme okay I gotta create my partition function alright and then all right. Okay, I had it already created on my database, so no problem. Let's go to the table create creation. Here, I use the same T-SQL structure to create my table. Create table. My par table is the name of my table. Then I set two fields to my table, and then what chains? on my <coughs> statement on I'm setting I'm referring to my part scheme my part scheme is simple telling that this function the parts of this function is going to the file group 1 file group 2 file group 3 and 4 that's why I'm <coughs> I'm referring to the partition scheme then I say which field I want to look at. I'm here. I'm going to look at field A. It's uh, good to remember that the field A must be must have the same data type as my function. So let's create our table. Okay. We already have this because I've created before. It's just a demonstration for you. Okay, so after creating my table based on my scheme, my partition scheme, now we're able to go and add some data within our um, our table. Here I'm going to optimize my time and make um, structure which will uh, facilitate my life so here we have a while uh, insert into my table up to 5 million of registers to my part table table okay after inserting that we can go to our <coughs> path structure 
and look at the files. Here we are using this file and we see we can see that 10 megabytes has been added to the partition call it file group 1 and then we have 11 megabytes to our partition call it file group 2 SQL has now your, your statements when you are inserting data to your table now we are able to have all your files spread among different disks, different path, or whenever, whatever you want to have it spread. Okay, feel free to send me emails to marcosfac at gmail.com. Marcosfac at gmail.com. See you, folks.